Hey guys, Sean T. Black Sheep here. So another viewer request video that we received quite a quite a bit of is what kind of pouches and or what kind of options do we use for our MV7 mags? Um, me personally, I use either the Toy Soldier Velcro insert. Um, this thing retails about thirty to forty dollars, and then the other one I use not as frequently as this because I'm not typically going to use my MP7 outdoors but if I were to I would want it more secure so and I would use bungee tops this is the Mayflower um, well, MP7 pouch this one is a real steel pouch so this actually is going to retail about sixty dollars after taxes shipping all that um, the one downside I had with this is that in the pictures it depicted uh, six well, six sets of uh, webbing and it only has five which kind of worked against me and how I needed to weave my stuff but I made it work um, for how they work uh, one thing you should really keep in mind for whenever you're having a pouch is how well it holds the mags together if it's a single pouch unit how well does it hold the mags when other ones aren't in it uh, by that I mean say for instance I'll do this if I was to have all my mags in, and this is Velcro all over, so this is going to hold, it's male and uh, female on each side, so it'll fit in most of your inserts and what have you. But, okay, so see, this is going to hold my mags pretty well all together. Like, it's going to obviously be easier to come out, but the intention of this is for me to have this indoor. I'm not going to be worrying about if my mag slips out or anything too much. But the structure of it, it's not going to bend because they're relying on each other, but the second I start taking them out, it starts to lose its grip. So what I would recommend is if you have one of these pouches, that you keep it close to your body. So the how your body's pushing against it will help to keep these in here and not as easily come out. Because you can see when one's in, it's a tighter fit as opposed to when I have two out. Like this one actually will stay in on this side, but it's, it kind of depends on how you have them in there. Just something to keep in mind. I'm going a little bit into too into detail for it, but it's for the mere fact that MP7 mags are not the easiest ones to find pouches for. Now with the Mayflower one, different story entirely. It does feature two sets of webbing on the back so that it will hold pretty securely and will go on well, pretty much anything you can throw it, throw it at. Um, one thing I wasn't a fan of is that the pouches straps are, well, not, not that it's necessarily bad, but I would prefer a stiff nylon as opposed to something like that. Um, the bungees do have options on the back to adjust their tightness and how, well, it kind of gives it a contractor look with the foliage green they have and then the leather material they're using for the tops as opposed to something to match it in color. That's just my opinion. It doesn't really matter. But same thing. If I had to put these in, then the essentially the how well they hold is more reflective of each individual well housing. So you're not likely to lose one as easily, outdoor or indoor, wherever you use this. This will work for MP5 mags, this will for, for electric and gas MP7 mags. Um, but if I pull this one out, this one's still in there nice and tight. Um, you can't honestly go wrong with real steel stuff. It is meant for going through a lot more durability than, well, Chinese made stuff. Uh, good example that's a, in between there is Condor. A lot of people like to say it's it's not good. It is a good product. That is 90% of, of the stuff I use gear wise is Condor. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get plenty of comments and I'd like to see you guys just duke it out and what's better and why. Um, in the future our team will more than likely be um, outsourcing a Kydex option so that we could uh, bring to you guys the viewers and our followers kydex pouches for grenades mags more specifically we'll probably start off with mp7 pouches um, we'll go into that in a future date and we'll be posting about it on the facebook but uh, if you guys have further video requests and you need me to go in depth tell you what i can or if i have it and i can do it sooner um, make sure just let us know and it's as always um, 
Well, even before I get into that, it's easier to get a hold of us through the Facebook. Um, or me as well. So if you guys really want something to see or really would like a video, then go ahead and hit us up through there. Uh, YouTube is just a lot to go through. But um, as always, play hard, play safe, shout out.